what we've got here is uh, the helmet that saved my life. It was struck by a ball bearing at the front, just here. Um, and thankfully, uh, I'm still here to tell the story because of this helmet. I'm Kev Stacey, I uh, did 25 years military service with uh, the Black Watch. Previously did uh, three tours of Iraq. Shock and awe, it was called. The day we found out we were going to Iraq, we were in Germany at the time, and we were given literally two weeks notice. Got in touch with my then uh, fiance. Um, and uh, told her we need to get married that weekend because I didn't want to have any open ends. So went back that weekend, got married, came back and we deployed. British and American heavy armour on the move. Fire! We were told uh, when, we, when we left that we went across there to help the Iraqi people first and foremost and also to negate the threat of uh, weapons of mass destruction which we now know to not be true. But um, certainly from, uh, from our perspective we were going across there to do good. I got very serious injured along with, um, very sadly, uh, my driver at the time, uh, young Mark Ferns, passing away in that uh, incident. And I remember quite clearly, in fact, young Mark asking about, um, uh, about a vehicle, you know, what should I do, should I slow down, should I speed up? And I, and I remember, you know, saying, look, just keep your distance. In hindsight, that was that, was that vehicle fixing us for, um, for what was to follow, which was, uh, the, you know, at that time, the largest blast in, uh, you know, ID. Evan went black for me for a couple of seconds. I thought I'd been shot. On the radio, been blown away. So it was just a jellified mess hanging down. Had a strap that went to my shoulder, which I didn't even register. I didn't even register the fact that I had a depressed skull fracture. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to to make a full recovery properly um, and serve, carry on serving. Um, so my main aim after being injured was to get my fitness back. I realised actually I can still I can still soldier. I can still serve. So, and then before I know it, you know, <laughs> I'm back in Iraq in 2018. I got into cycling, um, probably in part because of, uh, you know, it helped me for my sort of own rehabilitation. So when I was leaving, I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to set up um, a, sort of a cycling company so I can take people to amazing places and then share that passion for cycling and, and you know, the health benefits. You get to see vast swathes of the countryside, the greenery, it's a, it's a proper um, de-stressing sort of like, uh, tool and you're getting a, a fair bit of respite. I didn't really appreciate probably the severity of what we're doing at the time. Uh, I'm looking, looking back at that now and seeing the subsequent actions that's happened or what's happened since in the Middle East, then it, it wasn't really a good thing when you look back at that. So, but at the time, super proud of, uh, of uh, the people to my left and to my right. In our, in our minds, we were doing good at the time. <laughs>